Hey guys, so while we are home trying to keep our distance from people that are sick right now, I thought it would be a fun time to sit down and play with some new products from the drugstore. They're at least new to me, so if you guys would like to see these in action and hear my thoughts, then just keep watching. The first thing that I want to try is this Infallible Loose Setting Powder. I liked the Infallible line from L'Oreal, it was like their Pro Matte line. Um, so I've never tried this. I got 612 Translucent Light Medium. It looks like a nice light shade. I just have a tinted moisturizer on today and a concealer. A new one that I am trying out and it's very, very radiant. And it definitely has set down. But I'd like to take some of this shine away if possible. It does not come with a puff. It just comes with a sticker. I'm going to dump some out into the cap so we can see what we're working with here. This is the shade right here. Okay, it's definitely light enough for like light medium skin tones. Chunky powder, like there's little balls of product. It's not just like a light dusting. I've seen other powders like that too. They like kind of ball up in the pan. So we'll see. So I have this brush coated. I'm just gonna kind of pat it under the under eyes. I mean, it definitely mattified it. I don't know if it reduced any of the coverage or not. I'm gonna try setting the rest of this side of my face with this brush. You can definitely see the difference. Can you guys see all the shine on this side of my face versus how matte this side of my face is? It looks nice and smoothing. Like you can't see my pores here. It seems like they were filled in a bit. Feels very soft. It doesn't look heavy. It honestly just looks like an invisible mattifying powder. So I like that right now. I don't think that it's changed the color Actually, it might have made it a little bit deeper. Like I'm just seeing a little bit more darkness here than I did before. But I wouldn't say it's anything noticeable, so I'm gonna go ahead and dust it on with a larger powder brush on the other side. So let's move on to the next product, which is the Physician's Formula Multicolored Custom Light Bronzer. It says, creates a customized light tan glow, adjust your shade from dark to light, includes brush and mirror, and I have the shade Warm Beige Light Bronzer. I've had this for a little while and I've actually been saving it for the winter when I lost all of my tan because it is a lighter bronzer. I wanted to be able to use it when I wasn't a little bit darker. So this is what it looks like inside. It kind of has like fish scale design, scalloping design, whatever you want to call it. You can see that there's a light shade here all the way to deeper and this one right here has some shimmer and it looks like the rest of them are either a sheen or matte. So let me swatch this sheeny one right here. Okay, so that's just like a light sheeny color. And then if I just swatch a couple other ones, they're very light. You can kind of see there's a little bit of range of color, not a whole lot. So I think this definitely needs to be for like fair to light skin tones, but we're gonna give it a try today. Brush is coated. You guys can see the powder fluffing off my brush, so clearly I have product. Okay, so when they say it is a light customizable bronzer, it definitely is light. Like I would say this is as light as their lightest physician's formula butter bronzer or lighter. I feel like it has a little bit more of like a yellowy tone to it. So if you like more yellow tone bronzers, you might like this if you are super fair. 
you are any deeper than my skin tone, this is not going to work for you. And I consider myself to be fair to light skin tone normally. So you can see that it was able to be built up just a little bit here, a little bit here. But really, there's not a whole lot of difference from side to side. So not so sure this is going to do much for those of you deeper than me. Okay, face is bronzed, if you want to call it that. So let's move on to the next product, which is the new blush from Alme. I've heard really good things about this. This is the Healthy Hue Blush, and I have shade 100, nearly nude. It says, lightweight, silky smooth formula blends effortlessly for a healthy, radiant flush made with sustain sustainably sourced paper. Hmm, that's nice. Looks like this inside it has like a chevron pattern. I'm not sure if you can see that. And it just looks like simple cardboard packaging. Now let's see what it looks like. Okay, so this is more rusty tone than I was expecting, but it has a nice sheen to it. So it actually reminds me of the L'Oreal Age Perfect blushes that have like a hint of sheen, only this one seems a bit more intense. I'm okay with that. Okay, it's definitely light and buildable. Like I've done three or four layers of it and it's not overwhelming. So it's not as intense as it appears with a finger swatch and I'm using a fluffy brush. This is my Crown C531 brush. There we go. That's probably the intensity that I usually look for and I, sometimes I powder it down. The sheen is not as obvious on the skin as it was with the swatch. Okay, so I wouldn't say this is like a nude br blush. I would say this is more of like a rusty copper bl blush. So there were only, I think, four shades. There was like a pink, I think a brown, more of a berry tone, and then this one, which is what they're calling their nude. I wouldn't necessarily say this is like a nude blush. I would definitely say this is rusty. So that's just my description. I'm not complaining about the blush. I think the color is pretty. It might be a little too deep for my skin tone. I generally go more on like the peachy apricot shade, um, but we're gonna make it work. So far, I do like the sheen of it. I just wish that it showed up a little bit more on the face. Maybe you just have to play with it a little bit more, buff it into the skin a little bit more. Next product is from Maybelline. This is their Brow Fast Sculpt Gel Brow Mascara. It says Colored Shaped Tamed Brows. And I love products like these. I have been loving the Essence one. I've been loving the Collab Beauty one for a long time. So I wonder if this will become a favorite as well. And I have this shade. 250. So it's a little itty bitty wand, which is good. Sometimes they are too long and too big to manage. So this one's a nice small size and it looks like it has a shorter side and a longer side to really make sure you get everything. with without yep this is gonna become a favorite i can already tell do you guys see how fast i tamed these brows and they're good to go they're standing up they're filled in love it last product i have to try is from essence this is their stay eight hour lip liner and it says waterproof with sharpener oh nice so on the bottom is a little sharpener and it's like a like a Twist Up Liner. So this one is in the shade. Oh, the shade is on the lid. Number one, because, duh. So if you mix up the caps, you may not know what shade you have. It's the only downfall I'm seeing right now. So let's give this a try. That lip liner was really smooth, really soft, glided onto the lips without any tugging, so I like this. We'll see if it ends up being drying throughout the day. I'll leave a comment 
either right here when I'm editing this video or down below, um, letting you guys know my thoughts. So that's it for the five new items at the drugstore. So I hope you guys enjoyed this five first impressions video, drugstore edition. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.